Hey, my friends, it's Big Stu here. Welcome again. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said before in the last video, this is a part two video of opening up all of these boxes. So we have 31 mystery boxes to open up. So, but first off, let me move this off to the side here. I forgot to tell you about two things. I talked about my bat, the uh, Arkham, Batman Arkham Asylum. But I forgot to show you behind it what we have behind it. So let me try to show you a little bit here. This is some of the different things that are behind it. So, but anyway, so. Let me put that there. Another thing, oh, I'm gonna drop out of camera here. Another thing I forgot to tell you was I picked up a Hulk action figure. And this is him from Disney store. And we went out to the Disney store, checked out a few things. And this is a new line. I had thought this would be an awesome line to do. And I mentioned to my son a couple years ago when they made the Disney Infinity toy box line. And I'm going to reach back here, way back here, and I have a Hulk, the Hulk toy box. This was the original. And... And they've taken, this line is now dead or over with. They're not making any more Disney Infinity. So, but they took, they got a line of action figures now that they've just started this year called Disney Toy Box. And these action figures are based off the designs of the Disney Infinity um, video game. So, inside, they've only made a few. And I have a, a paper to show you, and it's really, really cool. A very cool design. And I will show you here. Superheroes, they have Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man, so far. And then they have the P Pixar line, which is, of course, from Toy Story. Then they've done three Star Wars characters. So, um, so far. Now, they're hinting that there'll be more to come. And uh, and I don't know if they're necessarily going to match up to the shadows. The shadows are all the same um, for each category. So it's not like a silhouette of an actual figure. But anyways, so obviously there's not a Cat America out yet, but there will be. And it's just, I guess it's going to be based off what they've made already. So this is very cool. Kind of the design is actually almost, when you put these shorts on them, this paint scheme is almost the look of the totally awesome Hulk, Amadeus Cho, who's currently the Hulk now. But it's a very cool, very cool toy line. It is 12 something, almost $13. It might be $12.99, $12.95. But definitely worth it, because most of these figures at the store are $10 or more, $15. It's very heavy, very solid. And of course, it's the Hulk, so it's a heavier. I had a choice of getting the Hulk or Thor, and I picked up the Hulk, and he was much heavier than Thor. So each time I, I hit Disney Store, or eventually maybe I will order these um, online, but I do plan on getting that line of them. I think it was very, very cool, very, very neat, and I forgot to show that in the last video. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Got my Rocket Raccoon cup where I keep my stuff. I change things around, have different things in different other cups. Okay, I think I'm going to move this over here. So we have some room. And so I have some room to open up. So let me take this out of here. As you can tell, there's a whole bunch. There's 31 of these to open up. So I'm going to move this here off to the side. We'll put this in here. I can take one at a time. And we'll just do that. I'll show you again. Okay, we're going to do the three Spider-Mans first. And we can't really see it. I need to raise it up just a little bit more. 
so we can here we'll do this this should help us a little bit give us a little bit of height okay this is there's one of these that was heavy this is heavy i'm hoping this is these are our choices so green goblin scarlet spider uh spider-man from ultimate universe miles morales regular spider-man craven the hunter uh man what's her name i can't remember silk uh then you have vulture you have uh the green goblin black cat venom spider gwen spider woman sandman rhino and of course the lizard so these are our choices this feels really heavy and the venom seems to be the biggest one so i'm hoping this is a venom because to me you have to have a spider-man see now and they're in a black bag okay awesome Got it? We have a Venom. Very cool. So I chose well. Very creepy, but very cool. Let's see how he stands up against a regular one of these. Okay. So he is a little taller than the regular one. So he's slightly taller. So very cool. Okay. So I chose well there. Of course, it was just by luck because that was the one that was, there was three left. And so luckily somebody had left a heavy one. So, okay, I'm going to put him over here. Now, I did talk about these. These things normally go for like $8. Some places can charge as much as 9 Some places will have them as cheap as 7 But most of the time I see them at $8. And they're way too much. I love Funko. It's great art. It's very cool. And, uh, but it's just for $8 for that, it just seems way, way too much. They are bobbleheads, any Marvel, any DC or any Marvel and any, uh, Star Wars has to be bobbleheads on their figures for the action figure licensings. By them being a bobblehead that are not an action figure. Anyways, so... I talked about these being $8 way too much. If they were $4, I think they'd have more people buying them. I would definitely try to collect them and buy multiples of them. Otherwise, really, I just wait until I come across them. I will get them in my Funko boxes sometimes. Most of the ones over here off to the side that you, you can see I, I've showed before, almost all of those have come from, from my mystery boxes. Or I've gotten a few of them that I've maybe gotten some more, like the Guardians of the Galaxy. I went ahead and got some more of them. I'm missing Groot. One day I'll find Groot. And uh, at a decent price, I'm willing to pick up. But it's just, they're, at $8, they're too much. But these all here, I got these. They were buy one, get one. And they were already discounted. So most of these were around $2. A $2 mark or a little over $2. I don't know. This is going to be maybe a Spider Man. Because it feels like the arms are stretched out. Yep. Okay, cool. So I got a regular Spider Man, which is very cool at least. So I have a Spider Man and a Venom, a regular Spider Man. So, so far, so good. got number three okay I'm trying to guess I'm filling in hands and okay in here and out I don't know the head feels weird it doesn't have hair so it's not one of the girls it's kind of like a bald head 
Uh, I think it's Scarlet Spider. If I had to guess. Yep, Scarlet Spider. Okay, so I got a Scarlet Spider. Now, this is a cool line. I would love to come across these later on and get them. And, I mean, they did cool designs, cool figures. But, if I had to choose, Scarlet Spider wasn't one of the big ones, but the Venom and the regular Spider-Man, definitely my favorites. And then, any other villains would have been cool. So, um, I'm very happy with what I got. I really can't complain. Hold these up so I have more room. I really can't complain as far as the the price I paid. Paid a couple bucks for it. So, and as far as I'm concerned, I got two of the best ones I could have gotten um, for the couple bucks. So anyways, I got 14 Justice League. And I have a feeling our choices are multiple. So if I got one of every one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 figures choices. I'm going to have plenty of doubles in this. I have a feeling I am. And uh, with these, I will, I can trade them in to the comic store and I will do that. So let's see. Well, Wow. Okay. This is Stefan Wolf, I can tell by his horns. He's a good size. So, this is Stefan Wolf, the villain for the movie. Okay. Now, I have. It says exclusive on here through GameStop. Oh, I guess they had three people that they offered exclusive in this line and that you can only get through the GameStops. And you can see The Flash, Bruce Banner, and one of the Parademon. No? I don't think that's Parademon. I think that's supposed to be one of the Royal Guards for Aquaman. Down at the bottom. So we'll see if I get into those exclusive ones. Okay. This has a cape. This is going to be Batman. So this says the odds of getting this one is 1 in 36. So. Okay, this is odd. I don't even have this Batman on the box. I get a wholly a whole different Batman that's not even on this box. So I don't know if I got a special variant. It's a cool Batman, but he's not even on this box. I'll show that to you. And here's our Batman our choices. And you can see my Batmans are up here. And but this is a different Batman, so that's very cool. Okay, let's take out four more. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I just kept buying, um, I probably bought way too many 14 a piece and. Definitely will be getting a lot of doubles, I'm sure. And I didn't realize how many I kept buying at a deal. So, hey, this is a Stephen Wolf. I can feel villain Stephen Wolf. So I have a double Stephen Wolf. Put my doubles off to the side. And Stephen Wolf is one in twelve. So I think the box is carried. There was 12 to a box. There was either 12 or maybe there was 16 to a box. It could have been 24 maybe. But I remember the box. Maybe it only carried 24.
Okay, this feels like somebody with a little bit of a, a helmet on. Oh, this is probably Wonder Woman. I'm feeling hair. Wonder Woman or mirror, but it's probably Wonder Woman. Okay, so I got Wonder Woman. Pretty cool figure. So she's one in 12, according to the box. With her sword. I'm saving some of these boxes off to the side, just in case I'm going to trade them in. They can come with their box. Let's see what we got. I always like guessing, I know. Okay. I will say this might be Mira. I'm guessing this is Mira. Yep. She's one out of six to get her. So I hope I don't have a whole bunch of her. She's one out of six. As long as I get one of each of the main characters, I'm happy with it. Um, so then I can't complain. And then I can trade the others. Okay, this feels like a mirror also. Hmm. I am not opening this up. This is a mirror. So I am not going to open this up. I am going to trade this totally. And not open this one up at all. Because so I can feel that that is mirror. Okay. I have a total of eight more of Justice League. Let's see what we got. This is something in somebody's hand. Uh, this is a Batman. And I'm trying to think if I can feel goggles on him. It almost feels like that Batman. Same Batman I have already. Which is the same Batman already, but it's cool to open him up because somebody will want him for sure for seeing him. So I don't know why we have that Batman's not on the on here, or else they never produced the other Batman. Come on, I need a cyborg, I need a Superman, I need an Aquaman. Getting a little nervous. Okay, this is going to be a Wonder Woman. Because I can feel the sword and the lasso. So I'm not going to open this one up. Six to go, and I still need three heroes. Really don't care if I get all the side villains. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is another Batman. Batarang. But I'm not feeling goggles on him. So he's going to be Batman again. I'm not going to open him up. Okay. Five to go. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to get the Justice League. 
I really thought I would have the Justice League set here. Let's see what we got. Counting down. Okay, this feels like Mira again. Cape. This is Mira. Okay, you're not going to open this up. Not good. Not looking good. Now, I love mystery figures. But they can break your heart. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Okay, my last four Justice League. At this point, it's going to be impossible, probably, to get a complete Just League out of this. Okay. Now, this feels a little different. I'm going to risk it. Flash, maybe? Okay. I got Aquaman, 1 in 72. Okay, so this is one of the hard ones to get. So it's Aquaman in his civilian outfit, I guess you would say. But I'd rather have him in his costume because I don't care about the variants. But him and a parademon are the two hardest. See the parademon down there, 1 in 72. Aquaman up here, 1 in 72. So, I mean, those odds are good, but I would rather have the regular I'll come in. Okay, here we go. Sword. Okay, I think I got a regular Aquaman here. And he's one in six. Yep. So, and I like this Aquaman better. So he's one in six. So I will trade that variant Aquaman for something. Perhaps to get one of the ones I don't have already. Okay. So I need Superman, Cyborg, and Flash. Hopefully, I'll get those in this. Okay. This feels... Maybe... I don't know. Got a hand here, hand on the side. This is either Bruce Wayne or Flash. No, I was wrong. It's Cyborg. Okay, cool. So I got a Cyborg. Very cool. Okay. Oh, last box. There was some more I could have bought and I didn't. So we'll see. This is starting to feel a little heavy. Hopefully, it's my last one. So, they had them at $6.99. Then they went down. So, they had them at one point for 7 But I've also, I've seen them for 8 also. Looks like they marked them down three times. Oh, this is going to be Mira again. I can feel the cape. This is Mira. So, out of this... 14, I've gotten three mirrors out of 14 figures. Okay. So, I ended up with, let me show you from up here. We got a cyborg. Batman from up here, then I can hold him up better.
Mira and Aquaman. Okay, so I'll hold this up steady. So out of 14, I got seven. So half of what I bought, I could have used. Get my hand steady here and you could see them. So in the other half, so it was basically a 50-50. And technically, I probably really will only use six because I will use him as a variant to try to trade for the others that I needed. So I will put these down here. I love the sculpting. The sculpting is very cool. So I cannot complain about the sculpting. Okay, I was a little luckier with the Spider-Man. Let's see Thors. How are we going to do with the Thors? 18 Thor. This is a heavy one. So this is probably going to either be the villain. Salvatar. Or it could be Gladiator Hulk. But if I get extra Hulks, that will be fine. Because many people like... Okay, feels... I don't know. This is a Hulk. Okay, Gladiator Hulk, first one. Very cool. See his head bobbles. Heavy, big. So, first one got the Hulk. I don't mind getting doubles of ones that we can use. The main characters, because everybody always wants those. I just don't want a whole bunch of doubles of the characters that... The odd characters and stuff. You know, don't need a bunch of Odins or anything. Let me show you this on the back. So that Hulk was one out of six. These are our choices. And I leveled that so you can see that a little bit. Okay, so Hulk is one out of six. Valkyrie is one out of 12. Um... Oh, I forgot his name. He, um, he does the gate and everything. Idris Elba's character is 1 out of 12. Totally forgot his name. Um, Collector is 1 out of 24. Odin's 1 out of 12. Um, Salatar is 1 in... That's Fiery Guy. Savitar Salatar, I think is his name, is 1 out of 24. And, and then 1 out of 24 is also the villain... Devastator? Ravager, can't remember, with the guns, machine guns. He's 1 out of 24. Then it looks like you have 1 out of 72 is a gold version. And it could be like a phasing version of the collect Game Master. I called him Collector, but Game Master, Jeff Goldblum's character. Then there's a giant robot, one out of or a robot, 1 out of 36. And maybe, I don't even remember that being in the movie. That could be one of the gladiator creatures or something they battled. And then the little alien spidery creature is one out of 72 and i forgot his name and then you got the woman who works for the uh, game master who always gave valkyrie a hard time she's one out of 36 korg is one out of 24 he's a gamestop exclusive and this version of thor is one out of six gamestop exclusive and then this version of loki is one out of six a gamestop exclusive so I'm assuming that other company, other things had had a different shape or sculpt for them. Because obviously you're going to have them in there. Okay, this. I would say this is Loki maybe? No. Arms, shows. Okay, this is either Game Master or Odin. Or, yeah, Game Master or Odin. The Game Master. Okay, as long as I don't get a bunch of him. So he's 1 out of 24. See how that goes for us. I think this other Batman I had talked about, I got the Batmans. These Batmans weren't exclusive. They were exclusive with somebody else. I don't know how they got that. 
Because according to that, they're not GameStop exclusives. I think that was the regular version. Or maybe that Batman was an exclusive. That style I got. And they didn't have the other Batman. Because that's odd that I got that Batman. Okay, let's order a couple of these. I know this makes a lot of noise probably. You gotta hurry this up because we're already at 30 minutes into this video. Okay, I have somebody who has a sword. This is probably Valkyrie. Yes. So I have Valkyrie. Pretty cool. Her hair is braided and everything in the back. They do a very great job on the sculpt. The sculpt is very good. Okay. This. This might be Loki, or this is going to be Odin. Okay, I got a Loki. So far, so good. Doesn't look very happy. So I got a Loki. Okay, let's take up four more. So we have a total of eight more to play with. Well, no, 12 more to play with here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, ten more to play with. Okay, so far, I've got no doubles at all. This is the noisiest. So let's just take the wrapping off these for now. Maybe next time if I do this for a video, I'll go ahead and take everything out. This feels heavy. Hopefully, this isn't a Hulk. This is somebody else. Hopefully, it's one of the, the villains. Okay, we'll open up this heavy one. Because if it's Hulk, I'm not going to open it up. Okay, this is Hulk. So I'm not going to open them up. And I'll leave up there. Okay. Okay. I don't know. This could be another Loki. I don't know enough. I think it's another Loki. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Yes, I got another Loki. Okay, so I have a double Loki. And we got a double Hulk. Okay. I need some a Thor here. Got to have a Thor. It's a Thor box. Okay. This really feels like Loki again. Okay, doesn't bode well. Another Loki. Loki's one in six. Hey, I don't need a whole bunch of Lokis. And these boxes, you can't really tell what they are, as far as I know. Unless there's some sort of numbering somewhere that people know on the box. Because they're in a bag, too, to begin with. You can kind of... Okay, this is something different. Sword? I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, so I got a hard one. One in seven. One in twenty-four. The bad guy. Very cool. The fire creature. Okay, that's cool. As long as I get a Thor, I won't complain too much. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. I'm open, I got six more left. Yet no Thor so far. See, the best way to do these mystery boxes is really to buy the case. This is the best way to do it. But at $8 a case, that's way too expensive. Okay, this feels like a Valkyrie. And... No. Nope. Himdale, that's the guy. It's Himdale. So I got a Himdale. Okay. <laughs> well, so far, I have not gotten just two doubles so far. I'm trying to figure out who this might be. I have a cape, hands down to the side. Ah, I think I got a Thor. Finally, got a Thor. Good, good, good. So I got a Thor. Pretty cool. Thor. Well, I'm doing well so far with this set. Better than I did with the Justice League. Might be head feels weird. This might be Odin, maybe. Let's see what we got. Yes, okay. I got an Odin again. The sculpting is very good. Well, I've done a good. Okay, we got three more to open up. I really would love to have a rock guy and a spider buggy. Okay, this feels weird. This is probably Jeff Goldblum's character. Game Master. No. Oh, I got... Whoa. I got the 1 in 72. I got the hardest one to find. And... The gold version... Of him. So it's basically the same version. It's just in this lucent... Gold color. Which is really cool. So I got the chase, the hard one to find. Two more to open up. Wow, I really thought I would have gotten more Thors in this set set. Out of 14 boxes. Okay. This has nothing in the hands. Oh, uh, this is probably Odin. Yes, Odin. Okay, last box. 
Let's see what we got. 40 minutes opening up boxes. Well, I got my money's worth, that's for sure. Taking the time. And all this feels like Game Master again. Yes. The Game Master again. Okay, so I did not get the Hulk's little buddies. Or, or uh, the Gladiator buddies, I guess you say. They really weren't his buddies. But, okay, let's set these up. Show you what I got. See. Now put the gold one back here. Can't get the bad guy to stay in here. And Valkyrie. Okay, see if I can hold this up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including the variant. So we got nine different ones out of 14 of the Thors. Let me do this slowly. And you can see them all. Valkyrie's all the way in the back. Can't really see Valkyrie. Too much. Keep her there. So the Thors were a much better choice of uh, getting the figures I wanted. So the Just League was slightly disappointing. There's some I can trade and get. Obviously, I had one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven doubles of Just League to trade back in. And yet with Thor's, I had looked like uh, one, two, three, four, five Thor's I can trade in. So, but anyways, like I said, they're only a couple dollars a piece. It was fun, worth it. Took 40 minutes to enjoy opening it up. Hope you enjoyed it too. Maybe I didn't drive you nuts taking my time. But anyways, that's the issues with these mysteries. Because you don't know what you're going to get. You know, the best thing to do is buy a whole case. Using the whole case, you're going to at least get the set in the case of the main figures. But those out of 72, you know, that's like two cases, one out of 72. So I was very fortunate enough to get this one, which was a hard one to get variant. And then the other hand, in Justice League, I was very fortunate to get this one. Um... Too. So I had two of the very hard variant ones to get. So yet I didn't complete the whole set. So I can turn around and trade these, the variant ones, and uh, maybe get two figures for those or get two of the ones that I want. Because a variant one I don't really care about unless it's a super cool sculpt and it's unique, different from another one. I'd rather have the normal collector or game master than the gold version. But the cool version is cool. But anyways, so that's it. Again, wish you a happy new year. Hope everything was great for you. And sorry I ate up almost 45 minutes of your time. But anyways, so I'm going to go back and start messing around with my Legos today. And hopefully by the next video, there will be some significant change behind me. And, uh, and you will notice that. So... To let you know what I have upcoming coming in, I have uh, in January the Teen Titans box is supposed to ship um, from DC, and I'm excited about that. I think we're getting an old school Nightwing pop figure as at least one of them, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we're getting a Beast Boy action figure. That's what I want. Not Teen Titans Go, but more Beast Boy Changeling style as he was known early on with the Teen Titans. So we'll see how that goes. 
or even if they gave you a Damien style Robin would be a cool one to do also part of the new Teen Titans that would reflect the current Teen Titans to have a cool Damien one. That would be cool. Um, also, after that, I have coming in, the Star Wars box is going to be Bad Guys Sith. So no idea about that. And then, of course, that would be February probably, the Star Wars box. And then also in February, the Marvel box is going to be Black Panther. So I'm eager. I want to pick up some of the new Black Panther pops. But I want to see what I'm getting first. I don't want to buy a Black Panther and then I get a cooler one in my box. And then I have to turn around and retrade that one. So I'm going to wait and see what I get in my box before I go buy out buying any new Black Panther pops. But anyways, so that's what I got coming in. As far as future Lego sets I do want to pick up, there is this crazy Batman rocket ship. And uh, and I've, I'm going to build it. It's crazy. And it's going to go right here in my back cave in this section. I'm going to put the rocket ship there. Batman does not need a rocket ship, but it's going to be so cool and so awesome to have the Batman rock, uh, rocket ship in the Batcave. So anyways, so I know that's coming out. It's probably a $70 set or something. I know that's coming out soon. I want to pick up. Uh, um, there's a couple Black Panther sets I'll probably pick up. There's one with a flying hovering car um, that I want. There's one with a rhino. I'm not sure if I really want that one or not. So I'll have to see uh, what figures are in there. But the flying car looks like a better, a, uh, a fun build, the car vehicle. And, and Batman has some other ones. They have, uh, oh, there's a Just League one where the reverse Lex Luthor in a mech suit. Comes with a Firestorm, uh, Cheetah, and so forth. I'll probably pick that up eventually. There's Batman against Egghead set, and it's a, an egg-shaped robot or something Batman's battling. I'll probably pick that up. So I'm trying to stay away necessarily from vehicles with Batman. I have a lot of vehicles with Batman as far as variations of the um, of, of the Batmobile, variations of villains' cars. So I don't mind a robot or something, but I'm trying to stay away from the actual you know vehicles. I'm having a hard time fitting them all in in my head in the design that I'm going to build them up in scenes. Um, but anyway, so there's several different things coming out. And those will all be hitting the stores. And one of the, the, I forgot the most important thing that I'm waiting for that's supposed to hit the stores anytime now, or probably by the time you're watching this video, they're probably already at the stores, is the Batman Series 2 minifigure uh, mystery bag. Guys, they'll be $4 a pop. There's only two Batman figures in the whole series. And I think there's one Joker, one Robin. And uh, there's the lame one is the Mermaid Batman, which is, I think, is total waste and lame. But then there's all a vacation Batman from, I think, Batgirl, Alfred, Robin, Joker, and Batman, all vacation. And then the rest, you got the two Wonder Twins. You got Black Canary. I think you got Apache Chief. You got some, a lot of cool fill villains in there. and uh, Or heroes, and then a bunch of different villains. So it looks like a, a better series, Series 2, than was Series 1, I feel like. So I'm very eager to start collecting that. I think that's 20 different figures in that series. So that should be hitting the stores anytime now. So anyways, so happy collecting, happy building, happy hunting. So I'll talk to you later. Happy New Year, my friends. Thank you for hanging out with me for 49 minutes. And, you know, I didn't mean to take so much time. So if you like these uh, minifigs, let me know what you think about these minifigs. And, uh, uh, from Funko and what you think about them. So I'll catch you later. Bye